work today. It's Sunday. I don't work Sundays. No, Monday. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm in the car. This traffic is crazy. All right, I'll talk to you. Bye. Fuck. One second, one second. Let's go. Enough, enough. You gotta move on. Oh Turn yeah. Get around! Told you I'd be back in a sec. Hey, genius. Uh, what, what, are you stuck in traffic? Yeah, bumper to bumper, you wouldn't believe it, man. It was crazy. You live three blocks away. Hey, it was construction. I had to take the long way. Ah. Oh. Good to see some things never change. Too soon for that, Lenny. I wonder what excuses you gotta tell yourself why you aren't a DJ. Come on, man, where's the love? It punched in at nine o'clock, unlike- You have reached 93.9 to pineapple. We got the juice. Please hold for your next available representative. Thank you for holding this is Margie. How may I help you? Uh-huh. You want to speak to Mr. McManus? All right, let me put you on hold for a second, darling, and I'll get him for you, okay? Sound good? All right. Lenny, got a call for you on line one. He said something about sustaining an erection. I believe it's your Viagra representative may want to answer that. You know that thing you call a beard? It looks like a leprechaun's pubes. Oh, now, don't get excited. But if you need to, all you gotta do is answer line one, and Mr. McManus gets his Viagras. Will you two idiots quit messing around? Baker, my office. Now. So, who talks first? Do I talk first? Man, it's really spacious in here. It's like Mary Poppins' bag. Will you not talk for two seconds? Now, was that really that hard? God damn it! How many times are we gonna have this conversation? Do you mean like literally? Cause we've had it about four times in the past six months and I'm no mathematician. All right, enough, smart ass. Gerald. You know? You got talent, Drew. You really do. If you just don't get ahead of yourself. You really think I could be a DJ? Yeah. If you don't get yourself fired first. Now get your shit together and get out of my office. Welcome to KTZ The Pineapple. Good morning, Honolulu. Welcome back to 93.9 The Pineapple. We got the juice. Here with your weather report today, rain, as always. We live in Hawaii, what did you expect? We got a caller on here today. Caller, what is your name? Ah, uh, you know, it's, it's Chris. 
Ah, thank you for having me on, the pineapple. I love it, so such a catchy name. We got the juice. Very, very good, I like it. Thank you for calling 93.9 to pineapple, we got the juice. Who is this? Uh, hello, uh, is this is this thing on? Uh, uh, am, I, am I on air right now? Yeah, yes, sir. You're you're on air. Oh, jeez, Rick. Uh, give me uh, give me the phone. Uh, I want to I want to say, hey, uh, it's me. Oh, fuck. I gotta get sober. Joseph, Joseph, how are you? Okay, so this is what I first tried making when I was trying to break my alcohol dependency. Uh huh. Uh. Jesus, are there grass trimmings in this? No, that would be called kale. Then what's that? Well, no, don't worry about that. Just drink it. All right. Oh my God, it tastes like a pile of leaves. You said this worked for you? No, I said this is the first thing I tried. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right, fair enough, dude. None of this is working. I guess I'll never be a DJ. Dude, I don't know. I didn't even think you liked your job. I don't. It, it sucks. Then why are we even doing this? There's got to be a reason. It's just I, I see myself as a radio DJ. And I get so close, but I always fuck it up for myself. Man, if you're so close, what's holding you back? Generations of my Irish alcoholic ancestors' blood running through my veins. That's just your excuse. <laughs> well, now you know what's killing your dreams. Alcohol, dude. No shit. What got me to quit was finding purpose in the thing I love. Yeah, and what is it that you love? Helping people, I guess. If you want to be a DJ, use that as your motivation. j Doug, you give me a lot to think about. Good luck on your journey, my friend. Good luck in your career, and don't call me j Dog. Yeah, whatever, Mr. Shaman Man. You think this smart ass was gonna be on time today? I hope so. I have faith he'll make the right decision. Have faith in thy prodigal son, and ye shall see miracles before him. Holy shit. 15 minutes early. Now that's a miracle. <laughs> well, Drew, I hope something changed in you. I guess only time will tell. 93.9 Da Pineapple. We got the juice. This is Margie speaking. How may I help you? Got the juice. Yeah, nice hairdo that I went out in the fifties, dude. Oh, I'm so slick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we got a caller on line one. Let me answer it to you. What is? Hello. Hello, yes. It's, it's me. Okay. Okay. Yes. You know who it is. Everyone knows me. I am 
President Donald Trump. Donald, pre President Donald Trump, what? How, how, why are you in Hawaii? You Shouldn't you be in, in like Washington, D.C. or something? Well, you see, that's the thing. Okay, I flew here on a vacation, a presidential vacation. We got the presidential suite. We got other presidents of the past here with me as well. Wait, there's there, you're here with other... Yes, I'm here with other presidents. Who, who, who else is here with you? Who else is here? Uh, yes, I believe... Uh... I believe uh, uh, George W. Bush, the best president, number four three, is here. <laughs> wow, President George W. Bush, that is amazing. Holy crap! Who else is here? Who who else do you have in this studio tonight? Uh, uh, looks like we have President Barack Obama. Uh, it did not sound like him at first, but now it does. Now, what uh, we are here to do is party our balls off in the presidential suite. Yes. Yes, yes, it's going to be great. There's pineapples, like 93.9, the pineapple. Yes, okay. We, we, uh, we're we in Waikiki. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure. Well, that's all the time we have today for you, President. Sorry, fuck off.